Hi guys, so today we're going to be designing one of these, a clothes peg. Now the reason I want to design a clothes peg is because the manufacturing process can be simplified. As you can see, this clothes peg is made of three parts that need to be assembled. This increases the cost of production and you need to run more machines, increasing levels of greenhouse gases and pollution. Now, these pliers may seem irrelevant, but the way they work is going to be helpful. As you can see, these pliers are a compliant mechanism, meaning they are one piece of material which bends to create movement. Now, the advantage of compliance mechanisms is they can be made fast and cheap. You can injection mould hundreds of these in a short length of time with no extra assembly. So here is a proper clothes peg in my rendition next to each other. Turns out I only need to make one version with no renditions because I got the design pretty much spot on. Which has an added bonus. This is incredibly easy for people with arthritis to use. With cases like this you have to squeeze apply pressure which for some people with arthritis can be hard. Now as it's too late to go outside to the washing line I will demonstrate with this doorknob. There. And pull it out and reset it. And once it's on there, you just need to go like that. Now you have it stuck on there, that isn't going to blow off. Nor will your clothes blow off, and then you can just pull it off. And then just snap it back into place. After a couple more tests, the design did break. So what would be useful is reinforcement at this point, similar to how they do it on here with a longer strip. If we look there. However, for the first try, and the only try I'm doing in this video, because it is really fucking light, that's a window, um, I am going to go now, so please like and subscribe, and have a nice one.